We all went through we the university. So you, have you in seen our own time, people, was especially if it's a public university, let, let me some call. people have to sit on the floor. Let me How call. do you begin to maintain let me call. physical distancing in such a classroom? Let, let me come. Those things are man-made. It's not government. Each institute, institute has a mandate to take the capacity they can accommodate. If the so, subvention is released, no, hold on, wait, sir. Let, wait, let him finish. Wait. Go ahead. You see, when you overtake mm. what you are supposed to, then you bear the brunt. What happened to private universities? Why are they not taking and you have 300? Uh, don't they look for money? Don't they want money? You see, the problem you said it, which I'm just your phrase, I like it. Say, it's government institution people are working based on it's, it doesn't concern me. So this is the issue. Until we realize that everything put on your hand is forget the government, do whatever you can do to ensure that that place or that sector works. Don't bring excuses. I always say every excuse is a lie. The institutes, they have things they can do. There are institutes, you travel abroad now, you see institutes, they are doing this, they are doing this, they have this. They are. It's not only following on government subvention because the government subvention can never, ever, be sufficient for institutions. It can we have to have people that are practical, people that can think above the board, not only waiting, just like your state government, every month they wait and waiting for Abuja to remit money for it. They don't think. That's exactly the, th the whole thing that is killing this country. People are not thinking outside the box. The only, look, there are grants everywhere. If your institute can be able to produce something like the one that produces um, ice, ice, um, uh, cream or something that, you, there are institutes, there are many, many organizations that are ready to grant, uh, grant you, uh, uh, you know, resources. Okay, Dr. Maduka, I get what you're saying. Mm. What you're saying is in an ideal situation. situation. So why can't we make it ideal? Hold on, sir. I want to ask you a question, <laughs> yeah. but this is where we are now. Mm. Schools were in session before the coronavirus pandemic. People had to go home. On strike. Uh, okay, there was strike. Uh -huh. But you know what I mean by <laughs> students were already in school. Yeah. Okay, so I, I, I'm trying to address the issue of a university taking on the capacity it can control. Yeah. Now, already, there is no public university in Nigeria uh, that is not guilty of that. So you, who's, who's you, fault? You, hold on. So now, the situation, the, the reality on ground now is if schools should open, are we going to reject some students and say, okay, because we want to maintain physical distancing, some half of you should stay at home? Would that be fair to the students? Whose fault is it that the universities are overcrowded in the first what place? What I'm saying, we have five months, five solid months that these universities are idle. The VCs, the pro chancellors, they are supposed to be thinking because we've been talking about this social distancing for quite a long time. They're supposed to be thinking, even if it's um, getting a um, makeshift, uh, this uh, blanket, what do you call it? Canopies. Uh, can canopies. You have to think. It's, you see, there's always a problem. There's nowhere in this world that there won't be problems, there won't be challenges. But what makes you better is you think ahead of the problem or the challenges. You see, when you dwell on challenges, which is what we do here in Nigeria, everybody's just talking about looking at excuses, looking at challenges, looking at reasons not to do what they are supposed to do. That's what we do here. But can't we think? This social design didn't start today. It started right from March when this thing started. What are they doing? Have they approached even state government? Has Lego, 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 uh, University of Lagos approached uh, Lagos State as a please? We need some canopies so that we, when school resume, there could be space. Have they done that? Have they approached anybody? They just sit down and waiting and say, okay, we are going to excuses. I hate excuses because excuses will always give you the, 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 the true color of who you are. Mm. Thinking outside the box is because there's a challenge. If there's no challenge, why are we, why are we here? Are we going to get canopies mm. as hostel uh, accommodation? Uh, no, for well. even for classes. It, it, so how about hostel accommodation? How do, we, how do we handle that? You take only the ones that you can take within the hostel. They know so that what, what happens to others? They should get uh, accommodation oh, from wow. outside. Oh, wow. I, I, I don't think you went to a public university, I Dr. Did. Maduka. I did. No, I, you did? You need oh, that. Okay. You know what happens? Great Akokai. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> huh? I did. But you like, like, hold on. You like, like, it's not your typical public university. No. Let, let's be honest. You know what it's I mean? It's a social. Yes, it's not your typical public university. But where 
officially maybe it should be four people in the room but you have like 14 mm, 20, 14 squatters you know in the who room is how do you who handle is that who is how, how do you handle is it now that schools are going to be we are going to look at the fault <laughs>